questions and answers from the works of Sri Aurobindo and the mother. Today's subject, Knowledge, Part 9, from Sri Aurobindo. There is something above the intellect which one has to discover and the intellect should be only an intermediary for the action of that source of true knowledge. The mind in its higher part is aware of being one with the divine in all ways, in all things, having that supreme knowledge. It is not disturbed by its own ignorance and impotence in its lower instrumental parts. It looks on all that with a smile and remains happy and luminous with the light of the supreme knowledge. The consciousness of union with the divine is for the spiritual seeker the supreme knowledge. Mental knowledge is of little use except sometimes as an introduction pointing towards the real knowledge which comes from direct consciousness of things. 25-6-1936 It, greater perfection in knowledge, can come only by further development and the activity of another kind of knowledge communicating itself to the physical and taking up gradually the functions of the mind in all its parts. It is not a mental knowledge that is necessary, but a psychic perception and a direct perception in the consciousness. A mental knowledge can always be blinded by the tricks of the vital. 26, 6, 1936. A touch of realization is enough to set the higher mind knowledge or the illumined mind knowledge flowing. If the intellectual will always have a greater wideness and vastness, how can we be sure that he will have an equal fervor, depth, and sweetness with the emotional man. It may be that homo intellectualis will remain wider and homo psychicus will remain deeper in heart even when the latter's inner mind opens up. Do not confuse the higher knowledge and the mental knowledge. The intellectual man will be able to give a more wide and more orderly expression to what higher knowledge he gets than the homo psychicus. But it does not follow he will have more of it. He will have that only if he rises to an equal width and plasticity and comprehensiveness of the higher knowledge planes. In that case, he will replace his mental by his above mental capacity. But for many intellectuals, so called, their intellectuality may be a stumbling block as they bind themselves with mental conceptions or stifle their psychic fire under the heavy weight of rational thought. On the other hand, I have seen comparatively uneducated people expressing higher knowledge with an astonishing fullness and depth and accuracy which the stumbling movements of their brain could never have allowed one to suppose possible. <laughs>